today, we're delving into the life of Dandini Munoz Mascuera, famously known as La Cuica. As one of the deadliest hitmen and top enforcers for the notorious drug lord Pablo Escobar and the Medellin cartel, La Cuica's ruthless and violent actions have earned him a place in the darkest corners of criminal history. So, buckle up and get ready for a gripping and sobering journey into the life of Dandene Munoz Mascuera, better known as La Cuica. Born and raised in the violent neighborhoods of Medellin, Colombia, Dandene Munoz Mascuera was surrounded by crime and poverty from a young age. It didn't take long for him to be drawn into the dangerous world of drug trafficking and organized crime as he sought a way to escape his circumstances. La Cuica's ruthless efficiency and his uncanny ability to evade capture quickly caught the attention of the infamous Medellin cartel led by none other than Pablo Escobar. He soon rose through the ranks, becoming one of Escobar's top enforcers and a key player in the cartel's reign of terror. La Cuica, a notorious Colombian hitman, is a character in the Netflix series Narcos. During his time with the Medellin cartel, he carried out numerous brutal assassinations and bombings, including the infamous Avianca Flight 203 bombing, which claimed the lives of 110 innocent people. La Cuica's chilling reputation for violence and his seemingly unstoppable nature earned him the nickname La Cuica, a Colombian slang term for a deadly female assassin. La Cuica is portrayed in the series as a ruthless and unpredictable killer, feared by even his fellow cartel members. His violent acts are depicted in a graphic and harrowing manner, underscoring the brutal reality of the drug wars in Colombia during the 1980s and 1990s. Despite his heinous actions, La Cuica is also portrayed as a tragic figure, caught up in a world of violence and corruption that he cannot escape. La Cuica was also known for his involvement in numerous other violent crimes, including murders, kidnappings, and bombings. He was particularly notorious for his use of car bombs, which he would use to target his enemies and innocent civilians alike. In addition to his involvement in violent crimes, La Cuica was also a key player in the Cali cartel's drug trafficking operations. He was responsible for overseeing the production and distribution of cocaine throughout the United States and Europe, making him one of the most powerful and influential drug lords of his time. In September 1991, La Cuica traveled to the United States, landing in Miami before making his way to Los Angeles and New York. However, his visit to the United States was short-lived. After federal agents received a tip-off from Colombian officials, Munoz Mascara was arrested on September 25, 1991, along with two other men while using a payphone in the Jackson Heights area of Queens, New York. The men were arrested for traveling with fake passports, and officials stated that none of them were armed and offered no resistance when challenged by officers. Initially, Munoz Mascara lied to the agents, providing a false name of Esteban Restrepo Echeverria. However, his true identity was confirmed through fingerprint records provided by Colombian officials. He was presumed to have traveled to the United States on an assassination mission and was held without bail as a result. Dandini Munoz Mascara, also known as La Cuica, was one of the most feared members of the Cali cartel, notorious for his involvement in a wide range of heinous crimes including bombings, murders, and kidnappings. His arrest and subsequent conviction in the United States in 1998 marked a major victory for law enforcement officials who had been working tirelessly to bring down the Cali cartel and its leaders. After his extradition to the United States, Munoz Mascara was convicted of a number of charges related to his involvement in the drug trade, including drug trafficking, conspiracy, and murder. He was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole, bringing an end to his reign of terror as one of the most feared members of the Cali cartel. Today, Munoz Mascara remains behind bars, serving his sentence in a maximum security prison. His story serves as a chilling reminder of the brutal reality of the drug trade and the devastating impact it has had on countless lives. The violent tactics employed by drug cartels like the Cali Cartel have left a trail of destruction and trauma in their wake, impacting not only those directly involved in the trade, but also innocent civilians caught in the crossfire. Despite efforts by law enforcement officials to combat drug trafficking and organized crime, the drug trade continues to thrive in many parts of the world. However, the capture and conviction of notorious drug lords like La Cuica serve as a powerful reminder that justice can be served and that those responsible for these heinous crimes will be held accountable for their actions. 
Laquika's life and the dark legacy he left behind are a stark reminder that the pursuit of power and control can lead individuals down a treacherous path of violence and destruction. As we reflect on his story, we are forced to confront the uncomfortable truth about the human capacity for cruelty and the devastating consequences it can have on society. In the years since La Cuica's capture, the world has seen the rise and fall of other notorious criminals and drug lords, but the chilling legacy of his brutal actions continue to serve as a sobering reminder of the depths of human depravity. His story also highlights the importance of continued efforts to combat drug trafficking and organized crime, as well as the need to address the social and economic conditions that give rise to such violence. By remembering the horrifying story of Dandini, Munoz, Mascara, and others like him, we can learn from the past and work together to build a brighter, safer future free from the devastating impact of the drug trade and the violence it perpetuates.